Over 30 rounds were fired at Rudsdale High Wednesday in East Oakland. That is wholly unacceptable. We thank God that many more students were not injured as a result of this action. At a virtual press conference Thursday morning, Oakland police confirming that the original call for the incident coming in around 1245 in the afternoon. After their arrival, police determined that shooters did not appear to be on the sprawling campus that's home to three schools, including Rudsdale. The campus was then placed on lockdown. Overall, six people with connections to the school were shot, two of whom remain in serious condition. Two of the victims are students. One is a counselor, one is a security guard, and two others work at the school. Law enforcement believes there were at least two shooters and one accomplice, maybe more. The shooting is thought to have been targeted and gang related. Rudsdale High, along with the other schools on King Estate's campus, remained closed Thursday. They will, at least for the time being, remain closed because of the fact that we have to uh, repair a lot of damage on that campus that, that occurred yesterday. No arrests have been made, and police say they haven't yet identified the shooters or their connections with the school. But while the community waits for answers, Oakland leaders are calling for federal action to help stem the epidemic of gun violence across America. And so once again, like so many other mayors in America, I call on the obstructionists in Congress to take real action against this unbridled psychosis of violence in our country.